and mills. There are a lot of them and it might be difficult to figure them out in the beginning. Don't worry. In this video, we will tell you about the main types of bits and why each one of them is needed. My name is Liu. This is Watson. Subscribe and join our growing community of CNC enthusiasts. And let's begin. The first way to classify many instruments is by the material they can process. There are ones suitable for wood, plywood, soft metals, or plastics. Usually, on websites, you can find these kind of divisions where you just need to pick the right category. Inside those categories, beads are organized by upcut or downcut, amount of flutes, diameter, and length. Let's go get through it. Upcut or downcut. This is the direction the chips are going upcut bit. This one is used when the material is tightly fixed on the working surface. Thanks to this kind of injection, the material is removed from the cutting zone so it won't stick to the bit, which decreases the chance of overheating. Downcut bit. This type is needed if your material is a pack of thin sheets, which can be processed a few of them in one passage. With the right parameter settings, this end mill becomes the sharpest and the most efficient tool. There can be from 1 to 9 cutting edges, and each has its own specialization. The most common in use are single flute, two flute, three flute, Single flute have only one tooth, which provides a lot of space for chips removal. Additionally, such cutters do not overheat the material. They are suitable for processing polymers and plastic of virus hardness, acrylic, ABS, PVC, form, wood, and wood-based material, metals, and other materials that produce a large chips. Two flute removed a smaller amount of material per bus, and they are typically used for roughing, most commonly used for working with wools, but they are also suitable for plastic. If you are going to use them for metals, check if the add mill has an additional protective coating. We also recommend using cutters with an angle of 45-55 degree to overcome material resistance with a minimal effect and prevent excessive heating. In general, the angle is important because it varies for different materials. For example, if you use a cutter designed for the plastic to work on aluminum. The metal will simply start sticking to the chip's removal grooves. Three fluid cutters are mostly commonly found in the large-scale production facilities where high-speed machining of complex material such as laminate is required. They are also actively used for the roughing machining of the stainless steel parts. Three fluid animals are particularly relevant when fast material processing is needed. The more cutting edge and the smaller the depth of cutting relevance to the diameter, the higher the cutting speed. When choosing, it is important to pay attention to the diameter of the cutting part and the shank diameter. First, the diameter of cutting parts should be calculated based on assumed laws. For example, there is a formula. When total milling depth is divided by 3, the smaller this number, the more carefully the ending mill should be handled, as its fragility increases. Instruments with a large diameter, on the other hand, allows the higher speed rate, means faster work. Second, the shank diameter depends on your collect. You need to check which collect your machine uses and either select bits that match it or replace it. We can provide more details about collects, pipers, and spindles in the separate video. If you are interested in this topic, let us know in the comments. Now about the length of the cutter parts. It should be 2 to 5 mm longer than the total milling depth. If no suitable option is available, it's better to choose a slightly longer tool rather than the shorter one. So, it is obvious that these two are different. And this is one more way to classify the ending mills. Geometry of this instrument matters a lot. We may divide them into four types by form and mills. They also may be square and corner radius-like. Furthermore, they may have not only different shapes of the nose, but various types of floods. Spirals, straight, or roughing one. Age profile. Oh, here we have all imaginable and unimaginable shapes. Also, here is a V-bit that you may be familiar with. All of them are needed for forming profile. Engraving tools. 
These are used for finishing and for engraving, of course. By the way, other types are most often used for the roughing. Sometimes, engraving and mills have a non-cutting tips. These are used for side engine. And mills can be classified by the material, chips, directions, numbers, and floats. Each type of work has its recommended tools, and choosing the right one is essential. Otherwise, you risk damaging the material, the tool itself, or even cause uh, failures in one of the machine's components. As a reminder, for beginners, we will soon release a video featuring the top and mills. Subscribe so you don't miss it, leave a like if we've helped you understand this topic, and if you have any question, don't forget to leave them in the comments. My name is Leo. Bye-bye.